and yell. I remember my baby sister's smile. When I remember my baby sister's smile, I remember mangoes in India. They're sweeter than the ones here. The mangoes take your taste buds and turn them into mangoes. Indias make me feel different things. Is that the end? Would you like to take a bow? Say thank you. Too Many, written by Ava Perla. Too many books, too many hair clips, too many papers, too many rings, too many caps, too many hats, too many socks, too much clutter. Where does it all go? Under my bed. The next poem that I'm going to read is called My Desk, written by Ava Perloff. In my desk I have a leftover hamburger, an old tight sweater, some smelly boots, a rotten apple, piles of paper, muddy gloves, and a green moldy orange. Do I know where to put all this stuff? No. Well, I guess I should put it all in the trash before my desk fairy visits my class. <laughs> Super tsunamis. Underwater storm. Get off the beach right now. High tide is coming. Get up high. It's here. Oh no, it's getting higher. I'm going to drown. Powerful big wave. Crash. It hits the ocean floor. Deadly scary crash. The end. The next poem is called, My Mess of a Desk. My desk, my desk, it's such a mess. It stinks like a skunk and has all sorts of grossness. I could, I should, throw the whole desk out. Oh no, it's lunchtime, I need to find my lunch in my desk of, of my mess of a desk. I found it, but what is on it? I don't know, the end. <laughs> School haiku. Let's all write in school. I really love writing too. I'll write about you. Jeopardy is fun. In Jeopardy you get points. I love Jeopardy. Let's all go to school. Here we'll learn lots of new things. School is really fun. And now for some hurricane disasters. <laughs> Hurricane swirling, destroying houses and shores, leaving towns destroyed. Everyone fleeing, powerful storms coming near, everyone leaving. Storms are spinning near, buildings will be destroyed soon, people very scared. When, when starting to spin, a hurricane might occur, many Many might be killed. All right, take a bow. Earthquakes created by Lawrence Tang. Crashing and bashing, explosions are very huge, working things over. People's homes destroyed, their belongings are destroyed. We're going to die, coming to an end. Boom, a crackling disaster. This might really hurt. Screaming people here, you must run fast for your life. Everyone is scared. <laughs> P.E. Class, written by me, Lawrence Tang. <laughs> running and running in P.E. Class. Huffing, puffing, breathing heavy. Lots and lots of children running. People are sweating. Everybody likes running. Don't sprint, just pace yourself. Yay, we get to run more. Oh no, the whistle blows. PE class is over for today. Everybody likes running in PE class. Spring by Deirdre Belger. Softly baby birds chirp. 
Puffy clouds roam the blue sky. Red foxes take care of their young. Interesting tree types. No one in heavy winter clothes. Good times begin now. Recess, written by Deirdre Belger. Lunch boxes pile up. Recess begins. Balls bounce, swings glide, hula hoops twirl, ropes turn, kids chat, whistle blows, swings stop, hula hoops drop, kids line up, tummies rumble, time for lunch. The moon is huge and up in space. It's like a white smile. If you go up to the moon, it would take a while. The moon is like a lollipop, except without the stick. The moon is like an ice cream scoop, but it would take a long time to lick. <laughs> the moon is like a smile in the sky, someone staring at me, like an old man's face. It looks so free. It's like a soccer ball dangling in the sky. Stars are little cleats. It's a little shy. The moon is a floating spirit. It sits in space as stars dance around it. It has a pale face. It dangles in the sky. It's a ball of light. I hope it doesn't fall on me. It changes every night. <laughs> the moon is like pizza crust. It's like a circle ghost. It could be a snowball. The man on the moon is a host. I could hold it if it was filled with cotton. I wish. It was a ball. The moon might be spying on me. I hope it doesn't fall. A tiny pearl in the sky, like a clock face staring down. A valentine wrapped in lace, a cookie too pretty to eat. It vanishes every day, a kitty's little nose with a hint of gray by Jasmine Mateen. I wonder, by Mirabella Pucci, how is the moon so bright at night? Is it a reflection of the light? It comes from the sun like a hot dog in a bun. I want to know, does it shimmer like snow? Its color is gray. Oops, it's the middle of the day. Sadly, I have to go. But if you know, you should have told me a long, long time ago. Flowers by Mirabelle Felici. I have a flower, its color is pink. Some people thought they saw it wink. It's very nice, just like mice. It would not tell a lie, but may, j maybe, just maybe, a good lullaby. Indian Love by Viva Guitar. Me reading my book, Tina reading hers. Guys are crawling over my shoulder, trying to attract my attention. Mama trying to keep Gadri from falling off the bed. Lila taking a nap on the couch bed. Dad calling to find directions for our next adventure. Mom snapping photos of us hugging together. All of us loving each other so, this is our Indian love. My poem is called They're Watching by Gwendolyn Clark. <laughs> there, let their souls whisper to you. Let reality reach fantasy. Enter the realm of we folk. As sunlight reaches rainfall, they are watching you. At the, at the rim of our world, a secret realm unfurled, laughter and joy for each girl and boy, making spectrums and crystals before you can whistle in the night, dance in the moonlight. The moon looks like a twinkling star that comes from outer space. It twirls around the galaxy that's kind of in a race. It looks like a smiling face that can hit my face. But it's really, really more beautiful in outer space by Zach Domsky. The Rage and the Life of a Dragon by Derek Rosenzweig. The flight of the dragon with wings of blood hue. The flight of the dragon, his path has no clue. He's whooshing past giants, he's steaming past trolls. He's leaving an imprint on most innocent of souls. The flight of the dragon, his scaly body, that dangerous body, the dragon is passing, you too. Look at what 
Look out, look out, his fire emerged. Look out, look out, his power has surged. The rage in the life of a dragon. Lullaby. The baby cries a waterfall waiting for a song. The song is soft like the blanket she holds. Never understanding a word said, the little girl falls asleep. Tears drying up, she had grown up. No more tears. Now she gets to know the pain of singing lullabies and cleaning up the waterfalls she made. Bloom. She waits through the day and night, not finding a piece of light, her seed sitting in the soil, not being royal to herself, not believing a dream, scurrying towards the stream, a peak of light found, now not captive in a pound, blooming big and wide. Thank you. My first poem is called Green. Green is the grass swaying in the fresh summer breeze. Green is the jungle, everything always new. Green is a happy leprechaun before St. Patrick's Day wearing his best polka dotted tie. Green is a melon, juicy, sweet, and pure. Green is the world around us, always, always things changing. Green is the fresh four-leaf clovers dancing in the wind. Green is me, as far as I could see. My next poem is called The Move. There are bare walls and empty rooms. My heart said, okay, everything will be all right. Excitement was building up in me every time I spoke. It was a change in my life I will never forget. Memories are kept and changes are made. My feelings were sad and I thought I was lonely, but now my world is sweet and pure, as much as I can ask for. My Teacher by Caitlin Thomas. First I see her gleam of beauty, then I see her spark of energy. Then I see how she makes teaching like a roller coaster. Then I see her backing away from the student's bloody cut. But when I see her, I'm speechless. Because why, you ask? Well, that's why I wrote this poem. Smaller Than an Apple Seed by Morgan Allen. Smaller than an apple seed, smaller than a mouse, smaller than a raisin's door as he's entering his house, smaller than a pencil wood, smaller than a bee, smaller than my dad's hair as he shaves in front of me, smaller than a baby midget, smaller than a toddler's hand, smaller than a shriveled pe petal or a tiny grain of sand, smaller than a fingertip, smaller and a fairy foot fairy's football team, smaller than a piece of gum, that's how small you'll hear me sneeze. Sprout by Emily Murphy. Sitting, waiting, sadness, when will my flowers sprout? For the world to see, while I wait, I have a frown. I wonder when my soon-to-be flower will grow with a pink and blue crown. Why can't my flower sprout, I say as I pout. All of the others are beautiful with orange and purple, even some are ye yellow and red. What do I see? Is it really a sprout among my flower? It is. It's really a bud. It's ready to sprout for the world to see. Sitting, waiting, happiness. May I shake your hand? Nice job, thank you. Glass Rose by Delaney Mech. When light strikes, it shoots out bits of rainbow crystals. It acts as if it were clean out of all the flowers and perks herself up as tall as can be. Brave and graceful, the glass rose. Light as her friend, nothing to be afraid of. Her stem is pride, like our hearts. Glass Rose has gone so far. Good night, Dance of Colors. Fish by Megan Kallenbach. Fish are swimming in the sea, as far as I can see. Fish are swimming in some light, their scales glistening in the sunlight. They are shining in the sea. I just wish that there were more that we could see. Fish are swimming in the sea as far as I can see. The Lonely Shell by Julia Gilman. In the morning, a shell lays on the bare sand, rattling its chains in the morning sun. 
trapped in a pile of tangled seaweed as a soft paintbrush lightly swoops across the shell, as it sings a lonely song, as it waits on miles and miles of sand. Dreaming by Evan Sosinski. Looking into the night sky, and this light falling into your eye, falling into a fluffy cloud, the noise, very loud. Beep, 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 you wake up. It's Monday morning, so you throw up. <laughs> Mohawk by Evan Zizitsky. Mohawk, really spiky, it's fun to have. Mohawks are really super cool. Awesome. I like your book, so thank you for a nice job. The Confident Cheetah by Matthew Pellucci. I'm a cheetah ready to strike. I wonder what my next catch will be. I have a desire to catch the prey and it is unbearable. I'm a cheetah ready to strike. I pretend to walk back to my den confidently with the prey locked in my jaws. I imagine the air rushing by me as I leap at my prey. I touch my prey with my nose, making sure I've succeeded with my attack. I worry I will be hunted, and the barrel of the rifle will be the last thing I see. I cry over my friend that was shot right in front of me. I'm a cheetah ready to strike. I understand we're being hunted. I say we can survive. I dream about us continuously thriving. I try to protect my friends as best I can. I hope that the good side of the humans will overcome the hunters. I'm a cheetah ready to strike. I am a pen by Jeremy Woodward. I am a pen. I wonder why people think pencils are so great. I hear classroom chatter and me rolling off the desk, waiting for someone to b bring me up again. I see a blank page, waiting, ready for me. I want for everyone to like me, but it feels like I can't talk. I have a pen. I, I am a pen. I pretend to be as amazing as pencils. I feel sad when I am left behind. I've dreamed to one be. I dream to one day be everyone's writing genius. I worry I will be left out over and over again. I cry when I am thrown out when I am not needed anymore. I am a pen. I understand I, I am one of. I understand I am one of a million. I say that's what they all say. I touch paper to make beautiful pieces. I try to make my legacy as great as long as I live. I hope one day I will be loved by everyone. I am a pen. O oh, terrain, O oh, water from the heavens, how I love the grace in which you fall. You quench earth's thirst, you bring us life, droplets dancing in the sky, partnered with neighboring winds, a ballet, nothing short of divine. O oh, water from the heavens, you caress from the sky like pounding hooves of a horse. How I love the music that you create. You bless us with your symphony, a gentle splat for woodwinds, a heavy pound for brass. Your good friend Thunder joins in on bass Adding lightning's flashes, the concert is complete. O oh, water from the heavens, how I love the serenity you create. You wash away the stress, like the sun washing away the clouds after a treacherous storm. You cleanse out the soul, carefree, and without worry, while you gently kiss our skin, a total state of bliss to contemplate our lives. Ode to Books by Jacob Rosenzweig. My books, oh, oops, okay. my books, I adore you. You keep me company as well as teach me new things. You're easy to take care of, and you make great air fresheners. Your cover may be as hard as a door handle, but you have only treated me soft and kind. If I want to be enlightened or just have a space adventure, you can help me do that. 
I love you, my books. You are essential to my life. When we are together, I feel confused, but I also feel more intelligent. My brain might be scrambled from the tales I get from you, yet I still enjoy getting overwhelmed by your words of magic and wisdom. The sensation feels as fast as a flock of birds. The stories and knowledge you give to me are like gifts from beyond. Opening you to the first page is like unwrapping a present. I will always be excited to find what is inside. You are majestic and breathtaking. From your bumpy textured spine to your flat and colorful cover, I can see how you have been enjoyed for generations and generations. As I open you and flip through, a soft, cool breeze passes across my face. The smell of trees and paper awaken my senses each page turn. The wood-like smell brings up images of green forests spreading for miles. I can almost taste the air, it is so crisp. A Kindle or an electronic reader cannot compare to you. A swipe across a plastic screen can never compete with the turn of one of your awe-inspiring pages. An LED screen does not show the brilliance of printed ink. They are too lightweighted to let you feel the heaviness of all the pages together. Each of you is special and unique. Each has a different story. Electronic toys are all made the same, built like robots. These toys are only simulations of you, Great One. I would lock myself in my room for hours just to read you and hear your stories. I would build a home for you so you can live in a bookshelf. I will make sure none of you get left on the floor. I will keep you safe like a guardian angel. Without you, my books, I am incomplete. My brain will be less intelligent and quick, and my intelligence will be stunted severely. I need you like a zombie needs brains. Without you, I would be nothing. I would be a poor, unhappy soul, and I would have nothing to do. It's good that I have you then, books. Your stories will be passed down like hoodies in elementary school. Your knowledge, will be give, your knowledge given to me will be used for good to help the world. I have a great love for you, my books, and I hope you will be with me for the rest of my life. Thank you very much. Jasmine, rosemary, 